Shalom, Shalom. We give all praise to you, Hab Bashimi Shah. We give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and Shalom to the elect. That's pushing this word throughout the four corners of the globe. This is your brother Shemar Moth from the DC camp. Again with the scripture. To edify the body of Yahab Hashim Uh Got a few verses that I want to come out with uh, with today's recipe. Today's recipe is the living alkaline water. The living alkaline water. And this is what we're going to try to teach the, the elect of the nation of Israel what the living water is. And that living water is not acidic. It's a, a alkaline water. Now, you go to the definitions about acidic water. Acid, acidic water, by definition, is the water of a pH level of 7.0. Uh, this water that is low in pH can have an undesirable effect on plumbing fixtures, copper piping, and can cause corrosion. Now, we don't need acidic water in our bodies, in our plumbing, uh, against fixtures, against pipes because it can could cause corrosion and when we go through the scriptures we know what living water is we know the definition of what the living water is where it won't corrode the body because uh, a water that is uh, a ph of five or uh, 7.5 and above it is shown to slow the aging process regulate the body's ph level prevent chronic diseases like cancer anti-aging properties Cologne, uh, 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 col cologne cleansing or uh, colon cleansing properties, um, it boosts immune system, it supports your system, hydrates, skin health, and other detoxifying properties and weight loss. So alkaline, alkaline water is very beneficial to the body, which is, has a, a pH above 7.5. And when we see and we read through these scriptures, what alkaline is, um, the, the, what the true living water is that will help uh, build up your spirit as well as your body to take care of you uh, in these troubling times that we're coming across. Uh, as you see um, right now, what is Puerto Rico uh, asking for? They're asking for water. Um, but what, what they really not asking for is, is these scriptures because these scriptures is the ones that's going to maintain your body, your life, your soul, uh, in these troubling times. And they've been going through troubling times with these hurricanes. You know, so we're going to find out today through the lesson, uh, Lord willing, that these that w the, the true definition of living water or alkaline water. First scripture I'm going to get is Proverbs 18 and 4. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. Now the words of the words of a man's mouth has to come from from Yahweh Hashem Yahshad through these scriptures. This is this is the well uh, spring of wisdom um, that is that has come up through him through Yahweh Hashem Yahshad's word through the gift of this uh, blessed life, uh, the life of understanding these scriptures. Um, and so so what comes out of his mouth are deep waters, and and this is what we mean by the teachings. Uh, of these scriptures and the edification of the body. Amos 3 and 7, it says, Surely the Lord Powell would do nothing but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So those are the words, uh, those, are the, the, those are the men, right, where things are coming out wisdom, springing up like a deep fountain through the prophets and only through the prophets because he reveals his secrets only to his prophets. So when his prophets speak, it's a well of water. It's a well of wisdom, right? Pure alkaline. John 15 and 15 says, Henceforth, I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. And this is what the Lord had spoke. The Lord spoke. He said that he, he told everything that his Father told him to tell us. And he didn't leave anything out. So it's a 100% pure alkaline water straight from the Heavenly Father. That was his mission. His mission was to give us that spring of water, right? Give us the, that fountain of living water. Give us that fountain of life, okay? Revelations 1 and 2, 
1 and 1, it says, The revelation of Yahweh Mashiach, which Yahweh gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, I bear record. Now we'll get this scripture because I want to um, bring bring this out. You know, if I could, Lord willing, Revelation 1, it says, I bear, I bear record, right? Verse 2, who bear record of the word of Yahweh, right? And of the testimony of Hamashiach Yahweh of all things that he saw. So all the things that John saw, he wrote them down from the from the, from the revelation uh, um, of uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai through through the angel. And he did this, and he and he made it record. And when you look up that word record, it means witness, right? So he was a witness of these things happening, and all the prophecies of the Book of Revelation that John saw, he wrote down. So these are the wells of water. These are the alkaline waters that help sustain you. It, 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 it supports your system. It supports the body. Okay? Uh, next scripture I'm going to get. This is uh, 2 Ezra. 2 Ezra 15, verse 1. It says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. See, this is, this is what we, this is the well of spring of water. Prophecy. Uh, the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. And it says here, uh, Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Nothing but spiritual water, spiritual living waters that are written in paper for men to read. Um, um, that, that you can, that, that will build up, build up your body, your faith, your soul, uh, spiritual times. Uh, when these things uh, come to pass, when these when these uh, 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 calamities come to pass, or or it may need uh, for a time for for comforting, uh, to get you, get yourself out of a jam, whatever the case may be, these are the these are the waters that help sustain, right? It, and it makes you immune. It, it builds your immune system. Uh, faith is an is part of your immune system. And when you build your faith, you're building your immune system from the wiles of the devil. Uh, and so he can't penetrate your body uh, or cause you dis-ease in the body. This is John 6 and 63. We know this. John 6. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit of nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Straight from Yahweh Shai's mouth that, that the words that he speaks, everything that's written in paper... Um, that the prophets have been revealed unto, and he and he caused them to be written in paper. This is spirit, and this is life. This is the rebuilding of your of your uh, 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 you know to sustain yourself. Okay, this is the true alkaline water. This is the whole point. John seven and thirty eight. John seven and thirty eight says. It says, he that believeth on me, as the scriptures say, everything that was written in paper, everything that was told to the prophets, and the prophets wrote them down in these books, this is this is the scriptures, right? Uh, and it says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Like I said, these words here that was that was given uh, to the prophets through Yahweh Hashem Shai, these are the living waters. This is what this is this is it. This is the uh, uh, the, the the ultimate. Uh, um, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin K, vitamin B, vitamin B6. This is your, this is your all the vitamins that you need right here. These living waters, these words, okay. Uh, and it says here, Revelation seven. Get this real quick. <clears throat> Revelation seven and thirteen. Revelation 7 and 13 says, And one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in white robes? And whence they came? And he said unto me, And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are which uh, came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Therefore they Therefore are they before the throne of the Most High, Yahweh Shemiah Shai, and serve him day and night in his temple. 
and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb which is in the midst of the throne shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Which means it's going to, it's everything that, he's, that, that we go through, everything that we are sustained by these living waters, this is this is your reward, your your robe, which is which is your which is your uh, um, which is your sins, is going to be washed and, and 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 blotted out. This is this is the this is what happens when you uh, endure to the end. This is these are the people we're talking about the elect right here. These are the people that Yahweh Shem Yahushua had deemed worthy for the washing of their wor robes, which is is really their sins. So when you you know wash. You're really washing your spirit. You're washing your soul from, from all the sins that uh, are being purged. You see? So these living waters purge your system. It cleanses your system. It, it, it makes you immune. It builds up your level. Okay? Um, it cleans your body. Okay? It cleans your soul. Okay? And it said that you'll never thirst again. These waters right here will wipe away any type of thirst that you may have. Because really the thirst that you have is in the flesh and not in the spirit. But, but, but these words turn those things around where you live in your spirit and not according to your flesh. Because your flesh is, will remain dirty and will stay dirty until these bodies can be changed. So these waters, these waters will refresh in you. Right, it 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 will refresh in you. It will clean your clean your act up, okay. And this is what we search for. We search for those living things that will clean our bodies, our souls, our minds, our spirits, you know, which helps strengthen us, right? Strengthen us in 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 due in due time because uh, of the things that's going to that's going to happen in this in this world uh, with the future calamity, the mark of the beast. Which is the RFID chip? Talking about martial law, concentration camps, death, guillotines—all these things is going to come about to try to make you dirty, to to dirty up your body. Okay. Uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It came back. Hopefully, uh, that it was no interruption. But I'm gonna get this last scripture. Someone was trying to call me on the phone, but that's okay. Because uh, we're going to continue in this word, Lord willing. Uh, just to get this last scripture, because we was talking about how uh, um, this word is going to sustain you uh, to the end. Lord willing, uh, I don't want to write this out that, that you know, your, your sins will be purged and cleansed. This is Psalms 1. I'm going to start at the first verse. Blesses the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Who's the ungodly? The ungodly is the other nations. The ungodly is, is doing what your flesh want, want to do. How to satisfy your flesh and not the spirit. It says, nor, nor standeth in the way of sinners. Right? Sin is the transgression of the law. So we don't want to stand in the, in the transgression of the law to be unfriendly with our power, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, who the world called God and Jesus Christ. We want to stand in his good grace. Okay? So it says, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, and in his law do if he meditate day and night, day and night. This is what we do. We meditate on these scriptures. Like I said, when these things are written, when the ink is put to paper, you read the paper. You read what the ink says on the paper. It formulates some characters. You read it and you get understanding. Therefore, you become comforted and cleansed. Okay. It says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. That bringeth forth his fruit in due season, which is which is righteousness, right? His fruit is righteousness, and and where he will pass on righteousness to others, so they so he can help them cleanse their soul, cleanse their body, right? Be comforted, okay? This is the reason why we do these lessons to to edify the body, to cleanse our souls, to cleanse other souls, and help them find the path of righteousness. It says, "His leaf also shall not wither." And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. 
this is this is the whole reason for the living water. This is the this is the recipe of the day. The recipe of the day is the living water, the alkaline, true alkaline water from Yahweh Bashim Shah, which is these words. Uh, John six and six and three said the spirit is these words. Uh, so when you abide in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Shah, your body can be cleansed, your soul can be cleansed, so you could be a a, a, a righteous sacrifice for Yahweh Bashim Shah. Um, for the things that he has given us, uh, talking about the elect, the house of Dawada, David, um, so so we can formulate this house and build the body of righteousness, so we can uh, rule in righteousness under Yahweh Hashem um through his laws, through his spirit, you know. And with that, I just say, call halal Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. We give double honors and and uh, double honors and, and and grace to the apostles of Great Millstone. And to the elect pushing this word throughout the four corners of the globe, of course, as always, shalom, shalom, shalom.